Danas nas očekuje toliko hrane, znači od purica, kuglofi, kolači, umaci. Ja cijel dan nisam jela kune vam se, ja ne mogu dočekat više. Ja bi želim iti za Ameriku, sad gledamo na školu pitanja za postavu. Dobro, ti već neš neka pitanja, ali i meni je hrana bitnija, tako dajemo. Amerika. Oće neko s nama? Idem ja da pitam Ameriku da mi bude saveznik da vrade senzaciju. A ono, ako će biti hrane, mogu ja da čak ne vrati. Najsavodkut možeš, ajmo. Hello, hi, I'm Bob Kohorst. Nice to meet you, thank you for having us. Oh, thank you. I'm just going to pop this in the kitchen. Oh, great, thank you. Hi, Bob Kohorst. Thank you, hi, Nika. Luciano. Hi, Luciano. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. My name is Ivan, I have to ask you some important questions. Oh, sure, nice to see you. Come with me. I have to ask you, we're alone now, and you can tell me, forget about the cameras. Sure. What's in Area 51? <laughs> well, Area 51 used to have a bunch of aliens in it, but they're gone. They all moved to San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> but there are aliens. Of course there are aliens. <laughs> How, why don't American companies invest more in Croatia or Croatia in, in, in America? Why don't they what, come here? Why the, they're, they're, it's really simple. Why? Because Croatia doesn't ask, right? You don't, you don't get, you don't get a, you don't get a date okay. unless you ask the girl for it to go out. Croatia, if so they I want America ask. to come here, okay. they should go to America and ask. They don't ask enough. It's that simple. Yes. So why don't our politicians do that? They're getting there. They're uh, getting there. Takes, they just takes, have to ask. It's just not part of the culture. They think because Croatia is a finalist in the World Cup, everybody knows Croatia and everybody loves it. Yeah. Everybody does like Croatia, but that's different from investing. You have to go, okay. go with a plan, go find some investors in America, and uh, tell them why Croatia is a place you can make a lot of money. Well, we're going to ask them. We should ask them. We should definitely ask them. So, this is the dining room. Right. This is, is where we, we entertain. We can get about 12 people or 14 people in here, and occasionally we have uh, other ambassadors and government officials and just Croatian friends. Well, thanks for coming to our uh, Thanksgiving Day dinner a few days after Thanksgiving. But we're glad to, glad to have you here and get to share a traditional uh, American meal of uh, oh, we're whole turkey, share. Yes. Uh, dressing, green bean casserole, cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, yes. and sweet potatoes. So enjoy. Thank you for the invite. Please be seated. <clears throat> Like What's a casserole? We don't have casserole in Croatia. This what is, is called uh, stuffing, and it's the same as this. What's stuffing. that? Stuffing is what you stuff in the bird. Oh, you put well, it in the stuff stuffing. What's stuffing it made is, of? Is bread. This fell. I'm gonna eat. You can it. eat this. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's mostly just bread and some uh, onions, typically. Mm. And uh, if you have like the giblets, the heart, and the liver, you chop them up and you typically put it in this. Okay. And so sometimes they sometimes they put it in the in the bird and it, and it gets some of the juices. No. And other times there's usually not enough room to feed everybody, so then they'll make it as a separate dish. Uh, how long before Thanksgiving do you buy the turkey? A lot of times you buy them frozen, so um, you know it typically you know you know you typically in a week or two beforehand. Uh, you can buy them fresh; they last for a few days, but not long. Okay. It takes all day to cook a big turkey. So you turkey. marinate it first or? No, no. You cook them here and then the other way they cook them, and I've had this, is you deep fry them. So you'll get a big deep fryer and you'll drop the whole turkey in the deep like fryer. Like fries? Like french fries. And it's delicious. It sounds awful, but it's delicious. Yeah, it does sound terrible. <laughs> no, no. It, 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 it browns the outside, it cooks the middle, and it's just juicy. It's much well, You have to have like a fryer. Like yeah, no, they, they make turkey. They make turkey. Turkey more, fryers. Turkey fryers. Big turkey fryers. The one thing you have to be careful is, is every once in a while some idiot puts a frozen turkey in there. When you oh, put a frozen turkey, it explodes. Yeah. Yeah. It explodes. Oh. And people get killed and burned every year by... By putting okay. frozen turkeys in there. What a weird way to die. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Mashed potatoes, tradition, of course. Uh, and then sweet potatoes uh, or yams. Yes, yams, yes. I like which, uh, not my favorite dish. Why? I don't know. I just don't like sweet potatoes that much. And then it's got marshmallows on the top, which is uh, kind I of never a tradition. I'm the most excited about that. Is that right? I'm okay. so excited about this. <laughs> uh, green bean casserole. This is my wife's recipe. Ooh. And it's green beans with a mushroom soup and fried onions uh, uh, on the top. Yeah. It's really good. It's can, okay. uh, can I ask what is this? Is this water? This, uh, this is wine. Oh, You've heard of wine? Yeah, yeah. Well, we maybe, have that in Croatia. Maybe we should <laughs> toast. <Yeah. laughs> While you're here, yeah, let's have a toast. Thank, thank you all for coming this evening. It's a 
Very, it's a strange evening. A very strange yeah. evening. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you for inviting us. Thank you for inviting us. Yeah. So well, cheers. cheers. And hope it isn't the last time. Yeah. 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 Really. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Really. So, uh, this is the living room. Uh, you have decorated this very well. And yes, we're ready for Christmas. You're, you're ready for Christmas. Uh, you've been an ambassador for what, one year? No, almost two years. Two years? Yes. So you have to know some Croatian language by now, some Croatian phrases? Um, uh, malo. Malo? Okay, what do you know? I, well, you know, you have to know the basics. You have to know... What? Dobro jutro. Okay, dobro jutro. Dobro dan. So dobro you say hello. You say dobro došli, welcome. Okay. You, then you have to say please and thank you, right? Okay. Molim. Havala, Havala Bama, Havala Liepa. And then you have to know the most most important Croatian word, Moje. Moje is used all the time. Okay, Moje. Moje, 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 Moje. But there's, there's two kind of Moje. There's Moje, that means me, yes. there's Moje, Moje. Si. That means yes. no. Yeah, I know. Try. Da, da. Moje, Moje. Moje, Moje, Moje. Do you know jedno pivo? No, do I pivo. What about your favorite food from Croatia? And then I'll take the dog. Well, um, so my favorite my favorite food is chabapi, oh, which I, which, yeah, yeah, yeah. which which I know is not Croatian, uh, although you know it's, it's kind it's, of it's, it's kind, kind of here. Kind of here. We can chabapi, yeah, yeah. Yes. Can I take uh, the take it? Take it. Take it. Take it. I also yeah. like uh, sarma. No. Sarma. Sarma. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, Strukli, of course. Oh, Strukli is, is yeah. excellent. Yeah, burak, burak. Burek. I like burek. You like burek? Yeah, and I also like almost all the meats. Uh, I'm not a big fan of fish. It is nice once in a while though to get American food here. You have some very. Is there you something have, that you, you don't very, like? Well, yeah. First of all, you have very good hamburgers here. Oh. You have a few restaurants that are excellent, and uh, so we go to get try and get a hamburger once a week. And uh, but don't, I'm, I'm not a big fan of fish. I don't like octopus, um, calamari. Neither. Um, so I don't. We don't eat that much fish because I just don't. It's not my favorite. But the fish is good here. I mean, it's just, it's, it's typically fresh. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, gri it's, fresh, it's grilled, yeah. it's not a lot of sauce. And yeah. so it's okay when I eat it. I just, I would prefer to have a steak. Why does Croatian people need visa still to go to America? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, yeah. yeah. Why is that? <laughs> I didn't come here to get picked on. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a small talk. We're nice just people. Nice Why do we need right? visas? Yeah. Look at us. We're Look normal. You we're we're gigantic. And, and, and if you keep it up, you're going to keep needing visas too. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we so everybody in the government would be more than happy to have Croatia join our visa waiver program and not need visas. But we have this calculation, mm -hmm. and less than three percent of the Croatian applicants for visas have to get turned down. So this is called the refusal rate, and Croatia is at four percent. So you're right now within a few thousand additional visas, positive visas. To get below three percent, it's one percent. I know. Can you, can oh, you, can you on. like? Nope. It's one percent. Can you like? I'll uh, give you sweet potatoes. Three point one, three point zero zero. Who are those people? I know those people. Do we know them? I, I, have, have, I have met those people. Who oh, are really? they? Really? Yeah. Can we drink coffee? How do they look? Are they around this table? <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually, are you getting no, nervous? No. <laughs> but I did. I did encounter people um, who were turned down, whose visas were, were turned down. And because they come to the interview completely unprepared. Yeah. Yes, There's that's paperwork that you need to bring. There's things you need to do, steps you need to take, and they don't take those steps. Even though it's not complicated, you can get an appointment on one day's notice. You yeah. can come in, it takes 30 minutes. You have to bring your paperwork. You have to bring some of the stuff. I mean, it's a, it's a hassle because you have to go out to the embassy. But it's not, comp I mean, it's not really complicated. But if you don't fill out, if you don't bring the paperwork, yeah. or our standard is we want to know that when a Croatian comes to the United States on a tourist visa, that person is going to come yeah. back to Croatia. Yeah. So, so if you don't have a job, yep. you don't have any family here, you don't own any assets, you don't have any reason it, to stay. It doesn't yeah. feel like it's you're going to come back. Yeah. Yeah. But that's a very small percentage. Why would anybody leave Croatia? Yeah. 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 But there's got to be less than 3% of those people who get turned out. How do we so, stop them? So there's two ways. One is to educate the people and tell them that, that why would you spend $160? Because <laughs> yeah. you have to spend $160 <laughs> to apply. Don't spend the money if you're not going to get approved. So most, some people should know better and they shouldn't come and waste their money. True. So that's some, but we have to educate them. The second step is more people that don't have tourist visas who qualify should come and get them. Mm -hmm. Right? So if everybody in Croatia, so raise the percentage. if we had a few, it's only a few thousand people, yeah. if we had a few thousand additional Croatians get a visa, 
that would drop the, the blade below 3%. Yeah. Once you're below 3%, there's some technical requirements about paperwork and things, but that can all get solved easily. And so next October, Croatia could be in the visa waiver program. We're gonna make sure that. Because the calculation is from October 1 to September 30. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, I was and so, to add so you're very close. We're helping. We're working with the Croatian government to find ways to get more good people in to get visas, people who qualify. But it's not millions. It's a it's it's a several thousand, thousand people. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get below three percent, you qualify for this, and we never talk about it again. What is this? The, there's a picture of some guys. You get... sure? My wife and I. We've got we've got two sons in California. They're actually running our family real estate business today. But when they were younger, our, our youngest son was a pitcher for the University of Kansas, and there's a picture of him throwing the baseball off the mound. And our older son, after he graduated college, joined the Los Angeles Police Department. LAPD. As a LAPD. Yes. And doesn't he look? Look at this. Doesn't he look young? Ako nije, ako nije ovo najamerički fotka ikad, ono, LAPD, I, I love it. So, um, you were a businessman before you were an ambassador. Um, how do you become an ambassador? How did you become an ambassador? Well, I decided in my time in life after uh, our sons graduated college and got jobs, it was my time in life to serve the country. So, when President Trump won the election, I called up the White House and said, I'd like to volunteer to do something for America. What can I do? And I got a call back a few days later, and they said, we think you'd be a good ambassador. Where would you like to go? You just called the White House and I uh, will be an ambassador. Yeah. Did you pick Croatia yourself, or and did I, you and they asked get me where, assigned? They asked me where I'd like to go, and I said, could I go to Croatia? We, we had just been here on vacation, and I thought it was a beautiful country and, and uh, interesting people and a little bit edgy. And I wanted the edgy part, because there was things to do. So here I am. It's a smart move. Just call the president like, I want to be the ambassador of Croatia. I have a question for you. Um, why don't we have Apple here in Croatia, the factories? Because that would be really great. Why don't we have Apple factories here? I have no idea. Because Be earlier I said you need to call and ask. But Anybody ever call them? But you have factories in China. Well, China called and asked. But we have China here. Have you, have you, have you seen Croatian China? No. So this is Croatian China. It's very tasteful. And it's, it's better than real China. This is China? This is China. This is where's, really where's China. The, where's the microphone? <laughs> this is Huawei, right? No. No, this is, this is real China. You should try it. Have you tried China? I haven't. Try China. China is delicious. <laughs> I can't say that, but I, it is, this is good. So I have a question about the green card lottery. Sure. I have been receiving emails on Yahoo since I was 14 about the green card lottery. I tried entering a couple of times, and a couple of times they called me mm. to verify my request, but I hung up. Anyways, hmm. my question is, how does the green lottery card lottery work? And if you apply for the green card lottery, does that um, undermine your chances of getting a visa if you apply for a visa? Okay. Because, you know, if you apply for the green card lottery, they may think you're staying in America when you're applying for a visa. Well, the diversity visa lottery is separate, okay. and that's just, you, all you do is register from the State Department site, um, and it literally is a lottery. If your number comes up... Yeah, you, Croatian guy got it once. Yeah, you can apply. You still have to go through the process and pass, you know, several background checks. Uh -huh. But that should not preclude you from getting another visa. Oh, okay. You just have to, again, like the ambassador was talking about earlier, just state your case, let them know that this is in process, and it shouldn't be a problem. But I would say to warn people that there are a lot of diversity visa scams. scams. Oh, so that was a scam that I did? It sounded like it to me. Oh, well, that's oh, completely oh, oh. illogical. <laughs> so the, the lottery exists, like, do we, it's not fake? It we really exists? Problem. It really oh, yeah. exists. Mm -hmm. It's through the State Department. So Is there like, a live feed? People just, like, put, picking up balls and the weather is... <laughs> Ratko! Like, yeah, no? Not exactly. You have to apply. Okay. from the State Department website, and then there for each country there are certain uh, criteria. numbers, criteria. No, but this is like random? like a, Yes, uh, it's random. Okay. Why do you have a, a green card lottery? Like, well, what's, because what's we're, the, we're a country of immigrants and we've allowed people to come to the United States. And it's part of our regular process to apply legally to come to the United States where you can live there the rest of your life. Mm. No, that's you, an open mind. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, it's, a, it's part of our tradition is to allow, when we allow hundreds of thousands of people to immigrate to the United States legally, uh, we just, you know, you see it, you see the illegal aliens make all the news, but we're, you know, we're about letting people in. We just have to, you have to follow the process. Awesome. Well, we now have the best part of the meal, okay. dessert, and this is a traditional pumpkin pie. Yeah. Uh, we, we basically, in the United States, only serve pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving. Really? I've never had pumpkin pie any other time of the year. Maybe some people do it, but this is yeah. <laughs> but this is what we have on every family has a pumpkin pie on on Thanksgiving. No cheesecake. No. With no, with a, and with a little whipped cream. Is this like a family family recipe? Uh, like the grandma that made it during the. Sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you say so. I'll take that. I'll take that. So uh, the, uh, we see it in movies and in in, in series. There's uh, in American high schools. There's those stereotypes like jocks and cheerleaders and the Spanish club and chess club. Is that for real? Do, do you really have that? We, we do. I mean, you know, the movies overstate, you know, what they are. But there are jocks and there are Spanish clubs and, you know, I But would say the, most, the, most high school What were you? Place. What were you? Were you, like, you, were you well, in the chess club or, or no, what were you? No, I No, I was. I, I, I'm a big sports fan. I like every sport. So I played, I, I played football, basketball, tennis, and baseball. Uh, and I was okay at it, right? I was good enough to make the team, but not Me good was. enough to be, you were a, to be a star. You were a but I, like, job. I, I, I mean, I'm still, I still like all sports. You, you mentioned that you're a jock. I mean, you were a jock and you love all, all kinds of sports. Do you know this guy? He plays in the NBA. Uh, Dario. This is Dario, Dario Saric. Yes. My brother. My name is Ivan Saric. This is Dario Saric. See the resemblance? I see, yeah. Yes, this is the resemblance. Um, I, I stayed in Croatia. He went to the NBA. He, he you, decided, you decided to stay here for the big money? Yeah. Um, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> he got jokes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I see you're a big poker player. I, I have played poker before. Yeah. So, Ambassador Bob. Ambassador Bob again, 2018-2019, there's some Rocket Ralph, the, the thrill, the thrill again. So two thrills, one Rocket Ralph, the Ambassador Bob. What is this? Can you explain this? Sure, every year, my college friends, there are six of us, we have a poker tournament, uh, including here in Croatia, years ago. Okay. And uh, that year, the thrill won. But I won the last two years, and, and we have a perpetual trophy, and whoever is the last winner gets to keep it for one year. So you're, you're a good poker player. That's well, why you're I'm, I'm, I'm better than my other five friends. And what is this? It, did you really bring this from America to churn butter? Don't you have better things to do? I, uh, when I go to visit companies, they give me a gift. <laughs> and I visited an insurance company, and when I, left the, when I left that day, they gave me this. So we can make our own butter whenever we want. So this, this, is this one of those gifts like, ah, oh, thank you. So no, nice. no, that's what you say. It's thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Yeah. I gathered some pictures here. I have the most popular uh, YouTubers on American scene. And I will test you your knowledge, your YouTube knowledge. So I'm going to show you a picture. And then you're going to guess how many YouTube subscribers do the person has. How many subscribers do you think this person has? Well, I know has? you all have a lot of subscribers. So I would say he maybe has more. Okay. So maybe a number. Say a number. A million. Uh, how much? One million? Uh, kind no, like, of, kind he's of, the most kind of, in the world. He's the world. most famous person, person in the world. Okay, please. What does he do? He's a YouTuber. Oh, he likes games. Oh, no, I mean, video games. Why would I why would plays I games? Yeah, yeah. that's games. it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he's a, he's he, a gamer. You, you are a game and like he's funny about playing it. 500,000 million. Because who would watch that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 500 million. No, it's a hundred one. Higher than that. No, 100 million and two. Okay. Around 100 million. 100 million. You know what is vlog? He's the most popular he's like the, vlogger. Yeah. Blogger? Vlogger. 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 Like it's the same thing yeah. like the blog, but it's like video. So it's vlog. Vlog is like okay. a video yeah. format when you film all, all like, of your day. Yeah. Okay. But make it uh, more fun, like. Sort of like this dinner, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. People maybe like crack the table <laughs> and just It's like it. this dinner, only interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Only interesting. <laughs> Vlogger. Like yeah. the long, yeah. really long. Okay. This was a great idea. Thank you yeah. for having us. Yeah. Like, like, you should invite us more. Yeah. Uh, we should do, you're welcome to We should do this every Tuesday. Every like, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Every Thanksgiving. Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. There's a show called Zenzatia. And I'm negotiating with Varasiti Chetrisata to bring it back. 
and I'm here pleading for the help of the United States of America. Can we be allies to bring Zenzatia back? 100% we're behind you. Can you do the political handshake? Ste čuli dame i gospodo, Amerikanci su iza nas. Da. Zenzacija is coming back. Probably. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely.